Yeah, so this is where street signs show. Right here. Hey, yo, I'm doing a documentary. You want to be in it? What? I'm doing a documentary. You want to be in it? Uh, no. All right. You know what it's about, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's some people that know about the life, too, but, you know, I, I choose to expose myself. You know, so anyways, I was ex introduced to methamphetamine in my junior high, high school, high school. Well, actually, it was junior high, but high school is when I actually started getting supplied with it. Um, you know, my whole aspect was just getting money. You know, I didn't realize what I might be doing, destroying somebody's life. You know, I ain't had no clue. You know, it started off because I had solid marijuana, weed, pot connects that everybody's like, well, shit, you know, I got, I got Yayo. So by 16, I had a plug from, you know, a couple miles down south that, you know, he's like, oh, you get weed. I, I don't know nobody that got weed. So homeboy was like, hey, I got a boy over here. He was in town, you know, he stays here. Can you hook him up? So he's like, he'll trade. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, I know people that want coke. Cool, whatever, I, I'm 16. So I get introduced to this guy and he's like, yeah, man, you know, I sell whoop de whoop for this price cheaper than what I had to been here. And I really wasn't into coke, you know, at parties, whatever, you know, I'll do a line bump here or whatever. Uh, what this dude was like, you know, 140, whoop de whoop, wow, wow, for this, that. I was like, well, you know, so I usually threw him like two O's for a BZ, you know what I mean? All day, you know, I was going to pick me up a QP, so... Half of that went <laughs> straight to Yayo. So now I got urban white, you know, green and white. So that's how that came up. And then, you know, me doing my hustle, my thug thizzle. Uh, I won't call that hustling. I'll call that slanging. I don't want to get misconstrued slanging. So, you know, living that life and getting introduced, 16, I got green and white. Got, you know, I'm over at a homeboy's house where we sit out. And, you know, he called people over, you know, blam, blam, blam. Usually, I, if I didn't have a green, he had the green, but I'm the one that had to connect for the other. So we'd be partying, getting, i get rid of it, make my money back and get, you know, call it a night. So, same thing. Oh, you got Yayo? I like Yayo better than this shit. Homeboy's family had, you know, introduced him. It's like the same routine by 12, 13, 14. You know, the Caucasian homies was usually... Involved that family tray, you know, they selling dope. Uncle, auntie, whatever, they cooking it and supplying it to the high school kids to hook, you know. So he was like, man, I don't like this shit. I'd rather have coke. So, you know, me, got the green and white. I was like, all right, whatever. I, I think I know somebody at school that would be one that bullshit speed. So, bam, just like I ended up with Yale. There goes my speed connect. So I'm trading him, you know, nice chunks of the white for chunks of the clear, dirty. So we doing it like that. So now all I got to do is go get my supply of green. You know, I'm hooking people up with peasies. And uh, I'm usually keeping at least about, you know, a, L, you know a, a cutie pie for me to do my thizzle. So. I end up just having green and trading the rest, you know, and then I end up with green, white, and clear, dirty, you know what I mean? So that's how it, how it came to be. Well, I'm in high school trying to get done with school because I done got kicked out of Central, got kicked out of East, went back to Central when I moved out. First day, I didn't even make it to class. Literally, my foot was in the door about to walk in class and my homeboy's like, hey, let's go smoke real quick. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I go smoke, come right back in as soon as we walk in the building. Can Nigel, Dominic, Latham, and boop de boop come to the office? Well, they shake him down, let him go, kick me out because my eyes are red. What? <laughs> okay. You know, so first day, I ain't even make it to class. 17, call my mom, parents, or the police. Police telling me either you go to jail or move back in with your moms because 
you're not old enough to be on your own and you're not emancipated. So these are your options. Well, damn, okay. Uh, I was up to my mom, I guess. Mom's like, I, you can come. So I go back to mom's house. So I'm back home now. So this is where, what leads to next, right? I ended up at this school called CBOE, the alternative school, great, great school. You know what I mean? I love them ladies, man. It's my heart right there. They did wonderful things for me. So I'm at school, you know, I'm the connect, you know, homegirl. She likes the speed. Her boyfriend who's older, working construction, likes the powder, likes the white, do foilies and shit. And his crew that he works with, hey, give me a ball, I'll sell it all. We keep the rest, get faded. So I ain't doing nothing but picking up and giving it to him. So all I do is collect my profit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, shit, let's get a kilo, dog. <laughs> let's save up until we get a kilo. So I'm saving up my money. You know, back then, you know, it wasn't as expensive as it is now. I mean, I didn't realize what, you know, the actuality of, boy, you getting in some shit. So she loves the speed and shit. He loves the white. All I got to do is get white and go get her her speed. You know, whether it's cash or me flipping it like that with her boyfriend. So that's how that world spun into be. I was like, man, fuck this life. Kept going to jail. Uh, one of the staff even warned me one weekend, be careful, DCI's out. You know, I wasn't an idiot. I think I was 17, almost 18 by this time. I was like, okay. Not to mention homegirl about a year ago when I was out on my mom's getting introduced to the CR crank that a homegirl came and let us know, hey, I just got stopped coming from school and the police is asking me if I know you guys. And you and his name is on the top of the list. It's like 10 names. She's like, no, I don't know them. But she let us know. 